My name is Laura. Thank you so much for joining me today for the enjoyment of the restorative yoga posture called Bump on a Log. A very lovely, very relaxing posture. A lovely part of the restorative yoga practice is that we can do even just one pose for a few minutes and receive so many grounding, soothing benefits for the central nervous system. So it's a really powerful practice to even enjoy just one posture. So we'll go ahead and dive into relaxation. Great, so the restorative yoga practice does make use of lots of props. Now you might have yoga bolsters that you can use one or two of them. If you don't happen to have bolsters for this practice, don't stress. We can also make use of pillows, different pillows, and especially blankets for this pose in particular, bump on a log. You might have a few blankets handy. So you could have two folded like this, like a, a long rectangle with a bit of padding. And rather than a pillow for your head, you might have a, have a folded blanket if you like something a little bit smaller to support your head. So we will be laying on the belly. I'm gonna go ahead and dive into how we, how we can get comfortable for this practice. So you may wish to have a bolster at the back of your mat if that's available, or again, a folded blanket and a bolster in the center of your mat. Preparing for deep rest here. You can reach for a pillow or, or a folded blanket to have that ready at the front of your mat. And then we locate here the front of the pelvis. You might even be able to feel two bony points here at the front of the pelvis. And if you can locate these, these points or even just generally the front of the pelvis, we actually want to take our time to lay those points on top of the bolster or folded blanket that you have there. Take your time to get settled. And as your first Laying down, you can notice here that I've propped up my feet on a second cushion. So that's, I'm going to use a bolster at the end of my mat, but you might have a couple of folded blankets or even some pillows back there that you can put your feet up on. You may like to turn your head toward one side as you start to lay down, or to keep your head and neck neutral. So this may be your preference. If you do turn your head toward one side, I'll give a little cue when we've been in the posture for about half the time. And then you can turn your head the opposite way if that's comfortable, if you wish to create symmetry in your neck. You might have a pillow here, or again, some folded blankets. The arms may rest a cactus shape out to your sides. So whatever is comfortable for you here. In restorative yoga poses, we want to be sure to put in all of the effort at the beginning of the pose to really fine tune the posture so we can be very comfortable. And then while we're in the posture, we release as much effort as we, as we can manage. So there's little, very little to no effort while we're in the pose. It all comes at the start when we're getting settled. So really do Take your time to get comfy. Know that there isn't any rush. Something important to check in with is that as you begin to breathe here in this pose, as you're settling in to be a bump on a log, 
Can you breathe down into the belly? And when the belly is filling, are the low ribs free to feather out on the inhalation? We want to be sure that the low ribs can expand. Especially at the front of the body, checking in. Remember that you can come out of any posture anytime that you need to. Always honoring your body's wisdom as your best guide for your practice. You're noticing your breath. Resting into gravity. You might imagine that with every breath out you could release as much effort as is available to be released. So there's no finish line in relaxation and every day is different. But with every breath out, just trusting in your own inner wisdom and ability to let go the right amount for you in this moment. You're releasing a little bit more effort with each breath. You know how to relax. You can trust that you know how to relax. In restorative yoga, we let gravity and our props, our yoga props, cushions, pillows, blankets, we let them do all of the work for us. While the body softens into effortlessness, Begin to deepen your breath here. The belly expanding. With every inhale, softening inward with every exhale. Breathing in, belly, low ribs, feather out, opening, widening. Breathing out, release. A little bit more effort is carried on the exhale, carried out of the body. (sighs) 
Inhale, full yoga breath now, belly, low ribs, chest, expand. Exhale, to fully let go of the breath, the resistance, of any stories of your day so far. Keep breathing deeply down into the belly, practicing dirga pranayama, full yogic breath. Belly, low ribs, chest expand and empty. And this massage for the lower abdomen stimulates a bundle of neurons, the enteric brain. And this massage helps to relax this bundle of neurons and ultimately soothe the central nervous system. So between your intentional breath and the bolster, the movement of the body, the gentle filling of the belly and emptying of the belly, you are essentially massaging the central nervous system and inviting grounding. And if you do have your head turned to one side, take your time to slowly lift the head. You can keep your eyes closed down. Slowly lifting the head and turning it to the opposite side. And there's no rush to make this shift. You can take as many Slight wiggles, make the movements as you need to get comfortable. And letting the head rest down into the pillow toward the ground. Deep belly breaths. Sinking further and further down into your mat and your props. Knowing that you deserve this time to rest this deliberate pause in your day to unwind, to stimulate a relaxation response in the central nervous system for the health and wellness of your whole being. Trusting that rest offers an important medicine. You know how to relax. You know how to access this medicine. Give yourself permission to let go, to be fully held here, cradled.
If the mind wanders, draw your attention gently back to your breath. With compassion and patience, Coming back to the breath. And we'll find just a few more relaxed breaths here, conscious breaths. And know that as we prepare to transition out of this posture, that we can carry the benefits of this mini restorative yoga practice with us into the rest of the day. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhaling softly through the mouth. A deep breath in through the nose, down into the belly. Exhaling through the mouth. Once more here. And start to feel into the ground beneath your hands. Begin to gently press down into the hands to lift yourself to table pose. And come to your hands and your knees. From here you might enjoy a few little circles through your hips. Or even wag a little wag of your tail from side to side. Slow movements to really savor this relaxed state of being you've come home to. You might also wish to take a few moments resting in a child's pose with the hips reaching back toward the heels. You can drape your arms even over your cushion, over your bolster, rest your forehead on your bolster perhaps. So honoring your own natural response after a bump on a log. When you're ready, rise up to a seat. And you may keep your eyes closed down for a few more breaths as we close this mini practice together. You could gather your hands palm to palm at your heart center in Anjali Mudra. Or perhaps you, you may wish to stack one hand on top of the other at the heart. Notice the effects of your practice of even just one restorative yoga pose can be a practice in and of itself. And I thank you so much for being here today, for watching this video, enjoying this bump on a log pose with me. I am a restorative yoga guide and love to share in the amazing medicine of restorative yoga. Now, if you wish to continue 
to, to learn more about restorative yoga or to enjoy postures like this with me regularly, then please do like this video, leave me a comment about what you, maybe what you hope to enjoy in the future and future videos, restorative postures, and do subscribe to, to my YouTube channel to continue to continue relaxing with me. Thank you again so much for being here today. I'll see you in, in another video. Namaste.